I had to make the tough choice of whether to buy the new iMac with the Lightning Fast M3 chip or the cheaper Mac Mini. I gave the Mac Mini a lot of thought before making my decision, and here's why. The new iMac had the cutting edge M3 chip, but the increase in performance wasn't quite enough to support the much higher price. On the other hand, the Mac Mini gave me enough power for my needs at a lower price, so it was the smart choice for my working needs. This choice gave me the best of both speed and value. With the extra saving I opted for more RAM and storage. I also bought a docking station with an SD card reader and more ports. There was also room for two SSD hard drives in this dock to add more space for video files and documents. I bought an M.2 drive. Nice that it matched the Mac Mini. It's the right size so I can put the Mac Mini on top of the dock or under it. I upgraded the base Mac Mini to 512GB of storage and 16GB of RAM. I'm hoping that this will last me at least 5 years, if not longer. The performance appears comparable to computers with comparable hardware. I feel I will use my Apple Arcade subscription more on the Mini than I did on my iPhone or iPad. However, I will be handling media files and producing content for the most part on this Mac. One factor that convinced me to choose the Mac Mini over some of the similar PCs on the market is how little room it takes up even though they were easily upgradable. They took up so much space that I had to seriously consider the Mac Mini. Right now, I'm utilizing my JBL Bluetooth headset and my Sharp Bookshelf audio system as speakers. In terms of software, I have a couple installed for productivity and content development. I wasn't too worried about running out of space for apps, because I can complete the majority of my work using web-based platforms. As a student, finding the right tech gear that strikes a balance between performance and affordability is paramount, and the Mac Mini with its budget-friendly price tag has been an absolute game-changer. This little powerhouse might not have the flashy bells and whistles of some high-end machines, but what it lacks in glitz, it more than compensates for in value. The M2 chip packs a serious punch, allowing me to breeze through assignments, coding projects, and even some light gaming without breaking a sweat. The compact form factor fits perfectly in my home office, saving precious desk space, and its compatibility with my existing peripherals saved me from investing in costly accessories. With the Mac Mini, I found a reliable workhorse that doesn't strain my student budget, and that's a win-win in my book. I firmly believe that the Mac Mini will remain an integral part of my content creation workflow for the long haul, and it's undoubtedly a fantastic choice for those on a budget. Its M2 chip offers impressive performance for tasks like video editing, graphic design, and more, ensuring that it can handle my creative endeavors effectively. The compact design and compatibility with existing peripherals make it a convenient and cost-effective choice, particularly for students and those seeking value for their money. With its reliability and affordability, the Mac Mini has secured its place as a key tool in my content creation arsenal, and I anticipate it serving me well for years to come. If you enjoyed today's video and have not already subscribed, do it now, so you know when the next video is uploaded. Now it's time for me to go back to bed and have a nap.